the flow today will be more of a slow build up and then we will go into go close hip open hip twists as well as um many other things you can do okay come on to your mat you want to start with your toes tucked in if possible if possible yeah and so sit on to your heels it's a pretty uncomfortable position i must admit so this really trains your toes to be a little bit more um, used to being on this because it also stretches out your calf muscles, your shin bone muscles at the same time. If this is too tiring for you, you can always switch back to point your toes back or you can always come sit across and down onto your ground, your choice. Okay, so take your own preferred position. I like to start with this just in the morning just to wake up so that my hips have a little bit more space to um, move around. A little bit more, I'm going to take my yoga in. Hopefully my Apple Watch works, it works, I don't know. Alright, so place your hands while on your, on your thighs, rolling your shoulders back slowly. As you roll your shoulders back, pay attention to how your back is responding to you. Keep that belly button drawn in as you keep rolling your shoulders back. And you're going to change direction, rolling all the way back to the front. All the way back to the front. It's a total of five times per direction. So each time you pull it back, notice how your back muscles are really responding over here. Now I'm going to aim the hands. Reach your hands forward. This is your internal rotation. Thumbs rotating downwards. So you notice that, you are, that your shoulders are rotating downwards. Then I want you to sort of open up your hands out towards the side and you point your palms upwards and towards the back behind you. And then very slowly pull it all the way back and slowly swim it forward. Thumbs pointing down. Rotate it all the way out to the side, palms pointing up and towards the back. Pull it all the way towards the back and down and reach forward, thumbs pointing down again. Open up over to the side, palms pointing up or even reaching towards the back. As you dive all the way down, try to point your thumbs back downwards and roll it forward. You go three more times. Pull it all the way up over to the side, palms facing up. Pull it down, feel your shoulder blades really squeezing together. Pull it forward, thumbs pointing down, all the way out. Pull it down, reach it forward. Each time you reach forward, roll your shoulders forward, and each time you reach it out, you want to pull that shoulders back and rotate your palms back down towards the floor. Very nice. So they interlace your fingers towards each other, making sure the base of your palms are touching towards each other and sort of rotate out your wrists, making sure that you don't separate your palms, you just keep your palms together and really deliberately rotate over here. Very slowly rotate all the way back. And then now finally you can go lift up your toes, point your toes back and sit onto your heels a little bit more so you get a nice stretch from everything here. Good. Take one breath over here as you inhale. And as you exhale, allow yourself to sink into your heels. Just close your eyes if you want to, or just stare at the screen because of your own privacy, your own home. You can focus on how your belly button is sucking in. And start to imagine your hips are quite free to move. You want to start by tilting your hip towards the back of your tail or with the middle of the spine towards the back of the neck. And as you exhale, I want you to turn tailbone downwards so it scoops all the way in. It's trying to point forward towards the front of the neck. Inhale, turning your tailbone towards the back of the neck. Exhale, scooping your tail forward towards the front of the neck. This is how your, your pelvic uh, tilts are happening. Inhale, tilt it back. Exhale, tilt it forward. Two more times. Inhale, tilt it back. Exhale, tilt it forward. Scoop it forward a little bit more. One last one. Inhale, tilt it back. Exhale, tilt it forward. Now we're going to come onto our hands. Hands onto your mat one more time. Walking your knees back, coming into our tabletop position. So spread your fingers out as you come onto your palms. Slowly shifting your shoulders from side to side. You want to take time to allow your hands to absorb the pressure over here. You also want to take time to allow your knees and your hips to all align in one line. And you stack your shoulders above your wrists, your elbows, shoulders, wrists all in one straight line. So if you stay over here, you're going to start to suck the belly button to maintain your flat spine here. Good. Allow yourself to swing from side to side or cross tiny centers of both your shoulders. At the same time, noticing how your hips are very over here. So different people have different um, different body sensations when it comes to different postures. So notice how it feels like for your own body. So the shift rate of your shoulders above your wrist, and then very slowly, we're gonna lead with your tail on the base of your spine first, all right, in your ankle spine. Keeping your shoulders still pressing down, you're not gonna arch your back first, you're gonna tilt the tailbone up. Your belly button actually sinks. Now, as you look forward, you're going to sort of pull that shoulders back and pull the chest forward through your biceps as you imagine trying to drag your palms towards your knees. Keeping your shoulders arched like this, exhale, only tailbone moves, sucking your belly button in. Your mid 
back will start to round. And then now very slowly, like a snake, you're going to start around the chest, tuck the chin in and round into your shoulders. Keeping your shoulders round, the tailbone moves up. Belly down. Chest sinks down and forward as you pull that shoulders back. Exhale, tailbone moves down, belly in. Meet back rounds, your chest is hollow as you press into your hands, tucking your chin in, your shoulders are rounded. Keeping your shoulders rounded, tailbone goes up, belly down, chest down as you move through your chest forward, you're pulling the shoulders back. Exhale, tailbone down, belly in, chest hollows, shoulders rounded as you tuck your chin in. Last one on your own. Inhale, into your favorite cow spine over here. I like to move my hips in cow spine. Because of you just release out the stress over there. Exhale, into your cat spine. I also like to sway from side to side of my cat spine because I just want to feel the weight of my shoulders on my hands a lot more. As I purposely squeeze my bum a little bit more to tuck it in. My tail is downwards towards my back of my knees here. Very slowly inhale, neutralize your back into neutral tabletop pose. Good. We're going to set the ball on our wrist, so start to shift your shoulders forward, keeping your tailbone tucked down. Extra shift your shoulders above your wrist. Do this four more times, it's when you shift your shoulders forward, really load into the base of the knuckles, pressing into your fingertips. Shift your shoulders back. Shifting it forward, we're going to pause for one more breath over here as we inhale, press into the base of the knuckles, especially your thumbs and index finger. Exhale, push it back. Two more times, push it forward. Maybe press into your fingers, spider hands over here, crawl the neck with your fingertips. Slowly push it back. Now, last one, push it forward. Now, we're gonna stay forward. I'm gonna very slowly rotate our shoulders from side to side as if you're dropping side semi circles with your shoulders here. And you draw semi circles with your shoulders. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get used to having your um, your what? Get used to having your weight transferring from knuckle to knuckle. Okay. So at this time, what you're trying to do is to just slowly transfer weight, getting used to it. Rounding your shoulders very slowly. Okay, so start to pause your shoulders past your wrist, and then very slowly ease back. So you can choose to tuck the toes and sit back onto your heels, interlace fingers. One more time, just roll it out. Quick one over here. Oh yeah, your shoulders, reach your hands forward, pointing your fingers up. Notice my fingers are slightly curled, but at least I'm trying to flex my wrist up. This is your own active range of your wrist flexion. And as, as you start to reach forward, you want to extend the shoulders forward as you pull the belly button in. This trains your entire extensions over here. Now start to open up your hands and soften it. Open up your hands, soften it. We're going to do this a little bit faster and you open, close, open. Close, not really open, close, open, 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 wider, open, open, wider, open, yeah. Keep going. You want to feel the four muscles really activating over here as you keep stretching out and keep opening up your hands and stretching out the fingers a little bit more for five, four, three, two, one, shake it up. So coming back onto the mat, you're going to place your hands down. I'm going to come up forward a little bit more. So I'm going to show you how your fingers look like on the mat. What, when you place your hands onto the mat, I'm going to start to get you to start to lift your palms and your thumbs away from the floor. So notice my fingers, I'm not lifting all of my fingers, I'm lifting up to the base of my fingers. Got it? Now my thumbs are off, but you notice that my knuckles are placed onto the floor. So what is going to happen is we're going to lift and we're going to come up here because what this does is we're going to train our forearm muscles to wake up at the same time. Got it? So with that in mind, I want you to come onto the mat. Find your shoulders slightly behind your wrist or above your wrist. The tougher it, it becomes tougher the moment you shift your shoulders far because it loads a lot of your forearm muscles. So adjust accordingly. You're going to load into your fingers. And so to lift your palms and your thumbs off the floor, but notice my shoulders are still above because I'm very used to it. Both hands slowly lower down to the floor. Inhale, up. Keep sucking the belly button in. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. You don't have to follow my pace if you want to. You can always start to shift your shoulders for a little bit more if you want to lower. I usually do about 15 or 20 times of this, so we're about five already. Maybe you want to do in for another five before you take a rest. Because you notice that the moment you try to lower your palms down together, you're working on your forearm muscles at the same time. Okay? 
But now we're up to 10 already. Maybe give yourself about five more. If you want to do it faster, you can do about 10 more while this happens. Okay. Give yourself the last five more counts because I'm going for 20 just to work out my forearm muscles. I love this a lot because it really requires of everything. I'm all ready for Chakra Glass to come on here. Okay. Last two. Last one. And then we slowly, I want you to sort of place the back of the palms down. We're going to face each other. If this is too much for you, you can bend the elbows slightly. But if you can, able to do so, pressing your thumbs, fingernails down into the ground, straighten your elbows and really press the shoulders above. You need to feel a stretch across the base of your wrist over here. You can choose to straight from side to side if you want to, very slow, very, very gently. Just to load your um, wrist all in the different directions. And then if you're able to look at the eye of my elbows, if you're showing towards each other, I want you to try to point your eye of the elbows forward. So notice this is the natural one. I'm going to point it forward. So this make sure your biceps are pointing forward to the front each other. It, it delivers a deeper stretch over here. And then very slowly bend your elbows, ease out a bit, rotate your knuckles, change direction, shake it all the way up. And then when you're ready, come onto the mat very gently, place your hands back down again. So notice how much time I take with my warm-ups. This is what I usually do, especially after the end of a long work day, after or after we, we wake up, our body is just not awake yet. You want to take all the time that you want to to stretch our body. So this is just a way for me to introduce how we want to warm up in future. Tuck your toes in. And you tuck your toes in, start to press into your hands. Rounding your shoulders, really extend your shoulders away from your hands making sure you're pushing away from your shoulders as well. Looking down in between your knuckles or in between your fingers, tuck your toes in. Inner lips in, your suck the belly button. How many knees? One inch above the mat. Over here, take one deep breath. Over here, inhale. Exhale, send your bum up. Let your head drop as you shift back into a downward facing bum. Now, we'll face up. Head out your knees over here. As you head out your knees, gaze at your floor. For me, I'm looking at the floor, I'm looking at the floor, I'm looking at all my hair strewn on the floor. <laughs> so, as I turn out over here, I also noticed that, oh my god, my floor is really dusty, I need to go back to me later on. No, I'm just kidding. No, most, most of all, I just want to start to focus on how I have things feel like. You can drop your hips one by one to deepen the stretch each time you straighten on your feet. And then you're coming to the still to your double face not and keep your knees slightly bent. Then I can drop gazing towards the back of your ankles as you inhale, lift your bum up a little bit higher, then you can drop a little bit lower down to the ground. And as you exhale, try your best to lower your heels about one inch lower down to the ground while keeping your bum high up. Inhale, soften your knees, setting your bum even higher. Exhale, press into your toes, try to straighten your knees so you don't have to lower your heels down. Inhale, soften your knees. Stay on down dog, press into your toes, exhale, straighten knees only. If you're able to, heels can go a little bit lower. Inhale, soften your knees, look forward, walk your way towards the top of the mat. Coming into your first fall for the day, feet are hip width apart. Continue to pedal your knees over here and you come up the elbows, swaying from side to side. What this aims to do is, as you keep the knees bent, I want you to release the lower back muscles and try to feel the stretch in the sides of the lower back muscles here. Some of us may feel that our hamstrings will take a little bit more stretch than usual, especially people who have been doing hits, especially people who have been doing run, running a lot. This is for you. For me, my hamstrings are naturally tighter, so I don't take it. It's terrible for me to stretch. <laughs> Each time you move straight from side to side, feel yourself going a little bit lower down to the ground. So this slowly releases every single tension in your body. And then come to the stillness as you bring yourself down to the center. Press into your toes, soften your knees, inhale, roll yourself up slowly, very, very, very great. And then start to straighten yourself up. You want to squeeze the bum a lot. You cannot see me, it doesn't matter. Reach the hands up to the ceiling. As you reach your hands up to the ceiling over here, I want you to have your palms facing each other. Facing each other over here, thumbs pointing out, pinky fingers are turned inwards, so your palms are almost facing from the back of the room. Take one deep breath, squeeze the bum, reach out a little bit higher. In your biceps, behind your ears, but do not arch your back. Keep sucking the belly button in. Exhale, join your palms together. Press them together, bring them down to heart center as you draw your elbows apart. Notice as you press the palms to each other, there's a slight uh, pressure going on over here. 
Allow yourself to gain into the pressure. Take one deep breath as you inhale. Exhale, lower your hands down, or down, or down to your hips. Inhale, out top. Squeeze them up. Exhale, bend your knees. Fall, fall down to the ground. Inhale, take a halfway up. You want to stay in your halfway as you shift the weight over to your toes. Fingertips balancing along your shin bones as you straighten the elbows, pushing your bum back. Keeping your fingers along your shin bones, straighten the elbows, push your bum back, aim your head forward a little bit more. Soften that belly button, take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, soften these forward, fall down to the ground. Bend your knees, uh, place your palms down to the ground, walk your way back into tabletop pose. Tabletop pose, your legs inhale, arch your spine, coming into your counter spine pose, focusing on pulling your shoulders back, lifting your bum, your tailbone up, and pull the chest forward, soften the belly button in. Take one breath over here as you inhale, keep your toes pointing back, exhale, push your bum back. Very active child's pose over here. You are not going to go down to the ground. Keep pushing into the ground. Notice that my forearms are still off the mat. Take one deep breath over here as you inhale. As you exhale, tuck your chin roll forward into your tabletop pose. Next inhale, come into your calm spine pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down onto the ground. Squeeze the mat between your hands. Good. Let your tailbone go up while your toes back. Take one breath as you inhale into your chest and chin down onto the ground. Stay to exhale as you melt yourself a little bit lower down to the ground if possible. Keep pressing your hands, glide forward onto your belly button, tone your down to the ground. Squeeze the bum a lot. Roll that shoulders back, inhale into your low cobra pose, focusing on squeezing your bum, waking up your lower back a little bit more, and pulling the shoulders back, pulling the chest forward. This is a wake up for your lower back muscles and your glute muscles over here. Take one deep breath, then an inhale. Exhale, go down to the ground. Tuck your toes in, round the shoulders. Inhale, push up to your assistant plank. Stay in your assistant plank pose first. Walk your knees in close together and touch. Keep your shoulders round and tuck your toes in. Just simply lift your knees off into your plank pose. Stay. One deep breath, inhale. Exhale, soft the knees, push back up. Downward facing dog. Now we're facing your little feet are still touching, stay over here. Next day, just set the right leg up to the ceiling, very slowly, strong, uh, slowly, strongly. Good. You want to focus on just having a nice stretch in the left hamstring muscles. As you point the right toes up, just set it a little bit higher. It's not about stretching really high, it's about channeling the stretch over to the left hamstring muscles as you ground the left heel down to the ground. Take one deep breath as you inhale, set it right leg up a little bit higher. Exhale, bend and right knee, pull it into the chest and step right foot forward between your hands. Sing the left knee down to your ground, keep the left toes tucked in, inhale, super hands up. As you super hands up, I want you to focus on pulling the left knee forward from the front of the mat so you adjust your entire body at the same time. You don't want to have an arch spine over here, you want to keep your spine neutral by tucking your tailbone down to the mat. By pressing into your right big toe, take one breath as you inhale, exhale, shift forward. By keeping your entire neutral spine over here, you're just focusing on stretching out this left big flexors by pressing the left toes down into the ground. Inhale, hips shift down the center. Exhale, shift it forward down to the ground. Last one. Inhale, hips down the center. Exhale, shift it forward. You're not going to a back bend over here. Instead, I want you to suck the belly button in. Create space between your belly button and your thigh by reaching your hands out a little bit more, lengthening your spine. Imagine pulling your right heel all the way back. Everything is activated. Even the right heel strings are activated over here. Take one breath. Inhale. Exhale, lean for just 45 degrees. Stay. I want you to sink into the right hip a little bit more as you keep that entire back nice and neutral. Keep softening the belly button in. Gently, left fingertip down below the left shoulder. Stay onto the left fingertip. Inhale, twist. Use your right hand, aim up to the ceiling as you twist and reach your hands up to the ceiling. Scoop a little bit onto the left hand. Use the stretch of your right hand muscles. Inhale. Exhale, look down. Right hand down, left hand down, frame your front foot. Lift the left knee off the ground, step back to plank. Hand goes over here, squeeze the thighs, squeeze the knees, squeeze everything in close together around the shoulders. Inhale. Use the toes, push your shoulders forward as you exhale, stay. Squeeze it off even harder, lower knees down to the ground. Keep your shoulders past your wrist as you inhale into your arch spine, coming into your calm spine pose. Squeeze the neck with your hands, exhale, lower chest, chin down onto the ground. We're going to stay in chest and chin down. Keep sucking the belly button. One more breath as you inhale. On your toes, but glide forward onto your belly button. Toes are separated. Feet, hip width apart over here. 
Press into your hands, roll the shoulders back in, your baby cobra pose, one more time. In your baby cobra pose, I really want you to the second hips down to the ground as you squeeze it up and pull the shoulders back a little bit more so your chest is almost parallel towards your biceps. Take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, lower halfway down to the ground. Tuck your toes in, round your shoulders, either push up a plank or to your knees, your choice over here. Keep the tail on top down, lift the plank for those on your knees. Exhale, now facing up, close your feet together and touch. Take one deep breath, inhale. Exhale, allow yourself to ease into your double facing up. Next inhale, send the left foot up to the ceiling, straight. You want to balance onto the inside of your right toes as you gain at your right ankle. Allow your head to drop, allow your left arm to be squeeze, so you'll take a little stretch onto your right hand through muscles. Take one deep breath as you inhale. Exhale, pull your knee even into your chest. Move forward, step left foot forward between your hands. We're all standing on one yet, so take the top knee, right toes tucked in. Good. Inhale, as you sweat hands out, I want you to pull the right knee forward together with you as you neutralize your spine. Why this is happening is they're trying to press hard into your left toes and you're trying to pull this right knee forward. This neutralizes your hips, you're not sinking forward like that. You want to keep everything nice and straight. Reach your hands out as you inhale, exhale, everything that should just move forward and bend more into your left knee so you stretch that right hamstring muscles up, hip flexors muscles up. Inhale, have hips back to center. Exhale, should be forward, press hard into your right little toes as you sit all the way back. Good. Inhale, back to center. Uh, so shift it forward, still here, stay. Belly button sucks in, keep reaching your hands a little bit higher as you take a nice stretch over here, sink a little bit deeper. And as you exhale, so lean forward just 35 degrees, maybe shifting the compression into the left of flexes. As you keep staying, reach your hands forward, sucking the belly button into more arch your back. Tuck the tail of the downwards and a lot more as you inhale. Exhale, right foot in down below, right shoulder. Use the left hand, inhale, twist. Reach the left hand up to the ceiling. Use the strength of your twist. Over here, twisting from your waist. One more breath as you inhale. Exhale, both hands down, frame your front foot. Lift your right knee off the floor, step back to plank. Join your knees together, join your toes together, join everything together, tuck the tailbone down. Breathing your plank as you inhale. Exhale, shift shoulders forward, load your plank over here. One deep breath as you inhale. Do not shift shoulders back, just lower knees down to the ground. Keep your shoulders rounded as you put the foot around you. As you inhale, tailbone continue to continue to tap down. Exhale, bend elbows, chaturanga. Take one breath into chaturanga, lower tilt down, roll your shoulders back. Inhale up into your high cobra. High cobra pose again. Roll your shoulders back. Chest push through. Bum squeeze a lot. Tailbone reach. Tailbone will do better. Bum squeeze a lot. And you stay over here, one breath, inhale, exhale, neutralize, suck the belly button in, tuck the toes in, lift up the plank, exhale, now facing up, now we're facing our feet, uh, fist width apart behind the mat, take one breath, inhale, lift both heels up, bend your knees, look between your hands, tiny steps all the way forward to the top of the mat, coming into your forward fold again. For a full bend your knees, just roll, flop the belly button over your thighs as you fall forward. Inhale, roll yourself more and standing. Reach your hands up, squeeze the bum. Maybe this time around, do not shift your hips forward, just keep your hips neutral. I want you to lift the chest up and focusing on lifting the chest up and pulling the shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze the palm, it's too hot center, really squeeze it. Over here. With your feet hip with the pad. Keep your palms squeezed in the legs, inhale, bend your knees, push your bum back, sit back, chair pose. Your chair pose is about understanding how your pelvic tilts are. So, a lot of us will have a natural arch over here, so if you arch your back, I want you to tuck your tail down to the neck and sit a little bit deeper. The reason why your hands are over here is so that you can focus on how your back is. Tucking your tailbone down to the mat, cooling the mat apart of your feet by pressing your feet into the ground and cooling it apart, carrying the mat apart, sit a little bit deeper, warming up your hip flexors a lot more. Stay. Suck that belly button as you inhale, and so sit a little bit deeper. Keep pressing into your hands a little bit more. Feel the load in your hip flexors, take one more breath as you inhale. Exhale, so straight knees, fall, fall down to the ground, shimmy up. Balancing onto your toes, inhale, halfway up. You want to feel a stretch along the hamstring muscles as you balance onto your toes a little bit more. One more breath as you inhale, suck the belly button, pull the shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold. 
And then you bring your palms down, walk your way back into tabletop pose. Tabletop pose, grab your hands down below your shoulders. Knees are still below your hips, tuck to toes tucked in. Good. Round your shoulders in the next inhale, lift your knee just one inch above the mat. Stay. Wide your feet to the width of the mat. Super wide legged. Uh, floating tabletop. Exhale, push your bum back. Keep your floating tabletop, but push your bum back to your heels. It is almost like a resting child pose, but your knees are off the mat. Then chin in, in your roll forward, floating tabletop. Exhale, load it, push your bum back. Compressing your belly button into in between your thighs. Inhale, roll yourself forward, tabletop. Now close the knees again, below your hips, hip width apart. Exhale, push it back, loading one more time. Inhale, roll forward, into floating tabletop. Exhale, push it back. Stretch, stretching up your lower back. Inhale, tabletop. Knees down to the ground. Arch your back, coming into your calf spine pose. Maybe you can choose to walk your knees on one inch back. Squeeze the between your hands. Exhale, lower chest. As low as possible. Elbows hug in super close. Maybe chin tucks down to the ground. Chest chin presses down to the ground. Arch your back a little bit more. Take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, point toes back, glide forward to your belly pattern. High cobra coming up, hands are in the line, roll the shoulders back, inhale, up into high cobra pose. High cobra pose, I want you to roll the shoulders back, use the toes, inch your hips forward as you keep pressing your chest high, pulling your chest forward. Can you grab your triceps in? So notice, you can see over here my triceps are the back of my hands. If they're pointing out to the side, I want you to wrap it in so the point towards the back and squeeze it into the Ripish muscles. Take one breath as you inhale, tuck the toes in, exhale, lift up into your plank, downward facing dog. Shake it up. Downward facing dog over here, so bring your feet close to the touch the next inhale, reach the right up to the seat, open up, stop and tail. One breath and stop and tail over here as you inhale, point the right knee a little bit more, let your right knee shine a little bit more. Exhale, just step right foot forward between your hands. Sink your left knee down to the left. You can choose to point your left toes back or tuck it in your choice. Inhale, rise up into your low lunge pose. Low lunge pose. Take one breath as you inhale. Keep reaching your hands out a little bit more. Exhale, sink it a little deeper. You're going to stay in low lunge pose here. Option one is to stay. Option two is to squeeze the left bum cheek as you keep reaching the hands up to the city and lift the chest up a little bit more. You're gonna feel a stretch a lot of the stomach muscles here. As you keep pressing into the right heel a little bit more, drag your right heel all the way back. One breath is inhale. Exhale, everyone, neutralize. Right hand along the right side, inhale. Just reach the left hand up as you push your right elbow into your right knee, push your elbows to the side, opening up over here. Take one deep breath as you inhale. As you exhale, I want you to switch left elbow along the left, uh, along the right thigh. Pull your right hand towards the back as you turn around your thighs open, your twist over to the other side. Two more times like this. Inhale, right elbow along your right knee, reach the left hand up. Exhale, left elbow along right knee and pull the right hand back. Inhale, right elbow along right knee, push the left hand up. Exhale, left elbow along, left, right flat, pull the right hand back. Stay over here and slowly cup your hands down to frame your front foot. Tuck your left toes in, straighten your right knee as you point the right toes up. Make sure your hips are above your left knee, so that's all you might need to wriggle your right foot forward. Point your right toes up, bend your right knee slightly. Dig your right heel down to the ground, flatten your belly button over the thighs, inhale, chest up, move forward, pull that shoulder back. Exhale, nose reaches forward as you just bend more and sink deeper into the hip flexors. Keep pointing your right toes up. It's a very active stretch over here. Keep dragging the right heel all the way back. Keep pushing the right heel down into the mat. Inhale, stay to exhale. Sink a little bit deeper. Maybe straighten the right knee if you are able to. Inhale, re-bend into your right knee, come forward, hands down to the ground, step back into downward facing dog, feet up, touching at the back of the mat. Next, inhale, set the left leg up to the ceiling, open up, scope and tail. Scope and tail over here, press the left shoulder harder down into the ground so you don't open too much. Squeeze the right left heel down to the left arm, take one breath, inhale. Exhale, so left foot forward between your hands. Sink down your right knee down. You can choose to point your right toes back if you want to. Inhale, sweep your hands up to the ceiling. Sink your hands forward and lower as you focus on the stretch by sweeping your right arm 
the muscles. Keep reaching your head for option one, sweet option two. So the middle chest up. You want to focus on lifting, lifting, lifting. So you can start to end your feelings towards the back of the room, but do not dump into your lower back. Neutralize your spine, right left elbow onto your left thigh. Just simply reach your right hand up to the ceiling as you open up the shoulders a little bit more, pushing your left thigh over to the side of your left elbow. Excellent twist, right elbow replaces, and reach your left hand towards the back of the room. If your left elbow comes down, reach your right hand up, open up your thigh, open up your flexors. Exhale, twist, right elbow replaces, reach your left hand towards the back of the room. Inhale, come to the center, left elbow down, reach the right hand on the way up. Exhale, twist, right elbow down, left hand goes all the way back. This is a gentle twist over here. So you come your hands down to the mat, tap your right toes in. Lift back to down, facing dog. In down facing over here, take one deep breath and inhale. Open your mouth, side out. Ha! See, I'll fix you the plan in this inhale. Lift your heels up, roll forward to your high plank pose. Warm your shoulders over here, stay in your high plank as you inhale. Round the shoulders, squeeze them up. If you want to knees down to your ground, otherwise, everybody send shoulders for an exhale. Chakraga. Chakraga, shoulder on the belly, your arm elbows. Take one deep breath, suck that belly button in. Draw your toes back. Glide into your up dog by pulling your chest forward. Making sure your thighs are on the ground, wrap your triceps back, or activating your bum muscles a lot. Exhale, now facing up. Take one deep breath down, face and inhale. Open your mouth side up. Ha! Next inhale, reach your left, right, right leg up to the ceiling, open up, scrub this hill. Exhale, right knee, right triceps touch. Inhale, open up, scrub this hill. Exhale, twist, right knee, left triceps mouth touch. Inhale, open up, scrub and tail. Exhale, right your chest, roll forward. Step up and fall between your hands. Keep your left knee straight and strong. Inhale, slowly rise up, lunge pose over here. <sighs> lunge pose, you're only straight your left knee a little bit more, and you'll sink deeper. Your hands do not matter, it just can be by the side. You can be at the top, for your pants, but I want your pose on your hips a little bit more today. No, down. As you press into your right toes, right knee just above the right ankle, allow yourself to wriggle, roll, 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 wriggle your left toes back and just sink down a little bit more. Inhale, sweep your hands up to the ceiling. Exhale, sweep your hands back as you lean forward 45 degrees. Inhale, transfer the weight over to your left arm, sweep your hands up to the ceiling. Drag your right heel back. Exhale, lean forward, slowly transfer that weight over to your right toe. Inhale, back up, reaching your hands up, sink a little bit deeper. Exhale, lean forward, sweep hands towards the back of the room. Good. Back toes, step in one step. So your left heel down, 45 degrees, straighten your right knee. Push your bum back as you keep reaching your hands back. This allows you to keep your chest up a little bit more as you keep pushing your bum back. Take one deep breath a little bit more, you're going to go all the way down. As you exhale, just block the belly button on the thigh, stretching out your right hamstring muscles. Rebend the right knee, inhale, come up into your warrior one pose, focusing on pulling the left hip hop forward, bending more into your right knee, digging your left heel down into your ground. Exhale, comes to the top of the mat, straight the knees, stand up straight over here. I'm going to bring your big toes, actually I like my feet fist straight apart outside this one, left fist straight apart over here. Take one deep breath as you inhale. As you exhale, push your bum back, reach your hands up if you're able to. As long as the tailbone doesn't arch up, I want you to take the tailbone tuck down. This is about opening up your chest a little bit more, just sink down a little bit deeper. Take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, sit a little bit deeper as you tear your head apart with your feet. Very slowly, straight your knees, forward, fall down to the ground. Walk your feet back to about one third or one third of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Align yourself to balance onto your toes and onto your fingers if that is available for you. Exhale, soft knees for four plates of palms down into the ground. Your palms must touch the ground. Round the shoulders, press into your hands a lot more. I want you to push away from your hands as you come up onto your heels. Good. Lean into your hands, press into your fingertips, come up onto your toes if possible. Stay. I just step at the plank or jump through to your chunk around now. Let's go. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Elbow face and over here. Take one deep breath. And slowly bring your feet close together. Slide out. Ah. Inhale, reach your left leg up to the ceiling. Open up, scrub the tail. Exhale, left knee, left rise as last touch. Squeeze the left knee, close. Inhale, open up, scrub the tail again. Exhale, twist. Left knee, right press as mass touch. Inhale, open up, scope and tail. Exhale, left knee to chest. Roll forward, step left foot forward between your hands. Press into your fingertips, press into your right toes, come up to stand, high lunge position. Get ready to keep the spine nice and neutral, pressing hard into your right toes. Stay. Bend one into your left knee, but keep the spine neutral. Take one breath, inhale, reach your hands up. Press into your left big toes a little bit more. As you exhale, lean forward, press into your toes, drag the left heel back, sweep the hands towards the back of the room. You're going to try to slow it and sink your hips down, lift the hands up, use your right arm to the support of weight. Exhale, lean forward, swing the hands on the back of the room. Inhale, rise back up, lunge. Exhale, swing the hands towards the back of the Swim your right heel, step one, step one, step in. Swim your right heels down 45 degrees. Rebend, uh, straight to the left knee and keep staying. With your hands reaching back, you're pulling your shoulders back. Just focus on pulling the right heel forward to square the hips. Focus on pressing the left big toes down a little more to stretch out your left hamstring muscles. Suck the belly button in. Allow yourself to exhale to relax more as you bend more, a little bit more. You don't have to bend, you need to push your hips back just a little bit more. Rebend into your left knee, rise up, warrior one pose, pull your right hip bone forward a little bit more. And as you exhale, bring your palms to heart center, step forward to the top of the knee. Walk to the back of the mat, one third of the mat. Take one deep breath as you inhale. Open your arms, slide out. Next inhale, bend your knees to the hands forward, shoulder high over here. Check pose variation. In your chest pose variation, suck the belly button, bend the elbows 90 degrees. Your palms are facing forward. Now, keep your tail on top of that. I just want you to imagine squeezing your butt with your hands and lifting your elbows past your shoulders without arching your back. Keep tucking your tailbone down. Keep lifting your shoulders a little bit more, but keep tucking your tailbone down a lot more. Take one more breath as you inhale. Squeeze a little bit more as you exhale. Reach a little bit more. Straight the knees forward. Go. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Bending your knees, grind your palms a lot. I want you to look at your head again to lift your heels up. Press harder into your fingers if you want to float back, float through your chakra back. Otherwise, step back also can. Let's go. We'll be back in Charles Pose. Or down dog. For three full breaths. While I call myself dry. And take a sip of water. That was a 45 minutes build up of a warm up, right? So, this is my warm up. This is how I warm up for my entire flow, which is why I say my flow is always 90, 90 minutes because by the time you're done, you're more than halfway there. So, I guess your shoulders are probably warm by now, your hips are probably a little bit more alive. By now, and by now you also want to uh, work the core a lot more, understanding the pelvic tilts. That's the reason why I choose to move a lot more in our lunges, in our chair, in our arms up, and this and that, so that you understand how this part's open and how your core still sucks in, but you're able to control your pelvic a little bit more, so that it's all the little cues that offer. When you're ready, that's what we back in downward, facing dog. Because of the proper flow, and you want a lot more from what we just done. Ready? Smile, enjoy it, turn up the music a little bit more, I'll turn up my volume a little bit more. Let's go. Saturday night, Saturday night, Saturday morning, grand right. Three. Feet yeah, and toes gonna touch and back on the mat. Allow yourself one deep breath as you inhale. Then your chest sing a little bit more as you exhale into a downward facing dog. Next in your center right up to the seat, straight and strong first. You then you want to let the chest drop down to the floor. Now bend the right knee, scorp and tail at the same time. Take one breath as you inhale, lift the left heel on the ground while we're coming up. Exhale, spin the left heels down onto the outer edge of the left foot and slowly come out to your right fingertips. Maybe start to lift your right hand off. If you can, don't touch your right foot down to the ground. Right foot hovers off 
and squeeze. Otherwise, right toes down to the ground for three. One breath for two. And one loop down. Right foot down to the ground as an option. Pull the right knee up to the ceiling. Take one breath as you inhale. Maybe right hand off the ground. Exhale, slowly swivel, step right foot forward towards the top of the mat. Ha! Good. Spin the left heels down 90 degree. Inhale, look up without into your warrior two pose. Warrior two pose over here, sink a bit deeper and stay. Feel from her, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior as you sink a bit deeper into your right knee. Take one deep breath as you inhale. Exhale, come into warrior two, right elbow onto your thigh. So left hand down, directly up to the ceiling. Open up as you push the right knee out over to the side of the right elbow. Take one deep breath over here as you inhale. Exhale, come into warrior two. Bend the left knee, sink into your standard pose. Right hand aims over to your right toes, pointing up. As you lift the left hand up, sinking down into the side up. So, high key pose, right? Good. Take one deep breath as you inhale. Exhale, bring your fingertips down to the ground. Come into the center, both toes pointing forward. Inhale, halfway up. Press your big toes, exhale all the way down. Do not use your hands, even reach your hands to the back. Good. Inhale, halfway up, fingers down to the ground. Heel goes, heel go all the way in. Until you're in, gotta squat. Heels are in, toes are out. Sink your hips down, gotta squat, pose, sink. Suck the belly button in, push your knees out over to your sides to stay. Or palms in your body squat. Allow your inner thighs to really max out, reach your hands forward if you want to. For one deep breath as you inhale. And as you exhale, straighten the left knee, we're going to return back into warrior two. Straighten your right knee this time up, push your hips back. Lean into your triangle pose over here. Take one deep breath as you inhale. And as you exhale, look down, re bend your right knee, cover the hands down inside your right foot at the same time. You're going to stay in a little lunge pose. Keep your left knee straight and strong, hands are down to the ground, allow yourself to drop my hip more. Hug your right knee a little bit more. Ah, take one deep breath as you inhale. Stay to exhale. Walk your fingers one inch forward, just in front of the line of right big toe. Stay on your fingers, take one breath as you inhale. And as you exhale, push, point your elbows out to the side as you bend more into your elbows, chop, not chop the right up, but sing it down a little bit more. Inhale, do your push up. Exhale, do your push down. <laughs> Inhale, push up. Exhale, push down. Option C, option two, walk your fingers up over to the side where your front right toes are and just straighten your elbows and stay. Three, two, and one, hands everybody back along below your shoulders. Hug your right knee into the right shoulder. Good. Press into your shoulder, round your shoulders a little bit more. Now, everyone, I want you to pop the right knee in and start to lift the right toes, the right foot off the ground. Stay one breath, exhale. If you want to, chaturanga. If you want to, jump back to your chaturanga or simply step back. Feel so true. I've got my cobra. Exhale, now we're facing dog, no meat on it. I'm starting a bucket already over here. <sighs> so to bring your feet, get a touch and back. Also then. <sighs> in this in, you'll set your left leg up straight up to the seat first. Allow yourself to drop your head a bit lower, then open up in the squat and tail. Lift the right heel off the ground, come on to your left foot, swivel the right heel down to the right hand side. And as you come to the wall, think either feet hovering up or feet touch the ground. Your choice over here. One breath as you inhale. Exhale, look down. Left finger down to your ground. Send the left knee all the way up to the ceiling first. Option one, swing with the left finger down to the ground. Option two, hover and sort of pull the right hip forward. Pull the left toes forward. This is a good call back. So the right heel down and you're going to roll up into your warrior two pose. Warrior two pose, sit a bit deeper into your warrior two pose. So your front power, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior, but keep the left knee bent, nice and straight. Inhale, you can make a warrior two pose, left elbow down, right hand goes down and up to the ceiling, open up your hip flexors over here. Oh, bring yourself back under warrior two pose, bend into your right knee, standasana, reach your right hand, left hand towards the left foot as the right hand goes up. Stay. We're going to return back into the center as you bring your fingers down to the floor, both toes reaching up. This time around, as you press your big toes down, push your bum back, reach your hands forward. 
train our back muscles over here. Take one deep breath as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Heel goes, heel goes, only inhale to halfway up. Heels are in to the up. Got a sparkle. Got a sparkle, so reach your hands forward. Now, I'm going to face you over here. Reach your hands forward. Now, reach your right hand over to your left hand over to your right thigh. Pull the right hand directly up. Switch. Right hand over to the left thigh. Pull the left hand over here. And then now, hands inside your thighs. Roll the shoulders back. Push your arm back as you pull the shoulders back. Still. And then very slowly, now this time round, you're going to strain the right knee, bend your left knee, board to pose. Strain the left knee, push your hips back, hinge forward, triangle pose. Triangle pose over here, take one deep breath as you inhale. Exhale down the floor, re-bend the left knee, cover your hands inside the left foot. Little lunge is where we're going to begin. Rock back and forth, your little lunge pose. Strain out this entire flexes. Enjoy the wriggle room over here. Slowly walk your hands about to the same line as your left toes. Good. Fingers on your hands, your choice as you inhale. Exhale, bend elbows upwards. Maybe do a push up. Inhale, up. Exhale, push up. Inhale, up. Option one, either bend the elbows or option two, walk your hands up over to the side, keeping on your fingers and bend your knee a little bit more. You're balancing onto your front toe and the flexors and the hands on three. Two, one, hands down, chin up. Find your hands around the shoulders, hop the left knee into the left shoulder. Now lean forward and hover your left foot on the ground. Option one, option two, chaturanga. Either do a chaturanga properly or the cock back to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. <coughs> now we're facing up. Let's see. Take a body breath over here as we inhale. Open your mouth, side up. Ha! We are close, get a touch on the back of the next Inhale, send the right leg up to the seat. One more time. Straight and strong, right toes going down. Taking one deep breath over here and inhale. Exhale, when you right, right as a touch. Inhale, open up, stop and tail. Exhale, right knee, left, right as to touch. Option one, stay with your left knee, uh, right knee hovering across the left triceps. Option two, straight out your right knee, but still hitting. Stay with that for three. Two, one, everybody straight out your right foot. Press it down to your ground, spin down the inside of the left foot. Come up, triangle pose, follow the triangle. Take your right knee right over here as you inhale. Exhale, everybody hips down to your ground, keep the knees nice and flat. Inhale, reach both hands up, chin it up. Exhale, reach forward, do not touch your down to your ground, keep your back nice and right. Stay that in house. Toes pointing up as you reach forward and pause for five, four, three, two, one. Right hand down below your shoulder. Left hand goes up. Back toes press down and lift back up into your fallen triangle pose. Very nice. Very slowly. Left hand down to your ground, come on to your right big toes, option one, stay, option two. Ninja Chakranga. We're going to meet back in your tree, leave it up, send your right leg all the way up. Open up, stop and tail. Taking one deep breath over here as you inhale. Exhale, pull the right knee into the chest. Place your right heel on top of the left thigh, figure of four with your legs. Very nice. Pop the left toes one step in. As you inhale, lift the left heel up. As the bend the left knee, sit your bum back. Checking out your arm. Think of a stretch. Take one breath over here as we inhale. Exhale, straight the left knee. Now roll forward to your high plank pose. Heels be keeping your big old fall. Very slowly touch down onto your right knee. All the way forward as you lie down with your figure of fall stretch. Got it? This opens up your hip flexors a lot more. Option one, stay on your elbows below your shoulders and lift yourself up. If this, if this is too much for you, just adjust yourself by letting your chest go down a little bit more. Option two, hands below your shoulders, squeeze them up, lift up, almost like a up dog. Pull that shoulders back. Tuck your left toes in. And ensure everything is nice and engaged. Slowly lift yourself up, step back to downward facing dog. 
take one breath over here as you inhale. Open your mouth side up. Ha. Now, in this inhale, lift the left foot up, straight and strong. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, touch. Inhale, open up, scrub and tail. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, touch. Option one, stay. Option two, straighten up, but do not let the left foot hang down. Three, two, one. Everyone, straighten left knee, push it forward, swing down the inside of the right foot. Lift the stomach up, fall in the triangle. One right over here as you inhale, hips are higher. Exhale, everyone, hips down, two round. My back is facing you, but the same thing as you inhale, lift the head up. Toes are pointing up. Exhale, reach forward and pulse for eight, seven, six, five. Chest is up, four, three, two, one. Hands are down. Right hand goes up. Back toes, right toes pin down, press onto the inside. Lift your hips up. Left right hand down onto your ground, come up onto your right toes. Option one, stay. Option two, ninja chaturanga. We're going to meet back into your downward face, now left foot all the way up. Take one breath and inhale. Exhale, left knee onto your chest. Left heel onto your right thigh. We're going to flow with your legs as you inhale, lift the right heel up. Step forward, one step, you want to. Exhale, bend your right knee, sink the bum back, stretching out your figure of form over here. One more breath as you inhale. Stay, sink a bit deeper as you exhale. Inhale, straighten your left knee, roll for a high plank. Very slowly, sink your left knee down, left foot down onto your ground, keeping your figure on stretch. Bring your hips down, bring your hands down onto your ground. You can either choose your elbows down, or you can choose your hands and your line. Tuck your right toes in for engagement. Rise up. Then you can sink a bit lower over here. One more breath as you inhale. Exhale, hips lift up, step back into. Now facing dog, from your knees down to your ground, allow yourself to rest. I also need a rest over here. This thing is hiring, but teaching it and doing it. I found myself being out of breath a lot more, which is quite terrible. Today, the big ones I'm leading up because of all this figure of four, I love twists. I'm going to walk with a little bit more twists. I'm going to go into baby grasshopper and grasshopper. I'm Madison Poses, if you want to see, okay? So there's one of it. Oh, okay. So you realize that I can actually can do a lot of things. I'm not even done yet, and it's still a pretty good workout. Okay. Ready? At some point in time, we'll end up with a dress How we get there? I'll figure it out. <laughs> Just enjoy the flow. Enjoy how your body moves and connects everything together. All of the sequences that uh, I plan are meant to open up first before we go into a different bonus. Then we will close it up with a twist. Okay? Cool. We're going to be back in downward facing up. Downward facing up over here. So bring your feet close together. Touch your next inhale. Set the right leg up to the ceiling. Straight and strong. Exhale, pull the right knee over to the left triceps. Challenging yourself, can you spin down onto the inside of your left foot and then very slowly lift that left hand all the way up. It's a side plank pose, option one. Make sure your back foot is really grounded down. Option two, can you pull the right knee all the way up to the ceiling as best you can for three, two, one. Return back into your tree leg that will facing down. Exhale, the right foot forward between your hands. Notice the difference when you twist your knee up. Ha ha. Hang in there. Inhale, rise up. High lunge pose. High lunge pose over here. Take one deep breath as you inhale. As you exhale, hands to heart center. Hands to heart center over here. Take one breath as you inhale. Now, as you exhale, can you, everybody just twist over to the right. This is all about your waist. Stay. Can you imagine pulling the left elbow forward to close it? It's a little more. And very slowly, reach your right hand towards the back of the room. Reach your left hand to the front of the room. This is how you twist. It's not about using your elbows to hold anything on. You're going to stay over here as you inhale. And as you exhale, reach your left hand forward. Touch your left leg down to the floor. Right hand either stays up or goes over to your right hip bone. Stay. Revolve. Warrior coming up. Revolve half moon coming up. Lean forward very slowly, start to lift the left toes up as you reach the right hand up. Taking one breath over here, 
as you inhale, exhale, look down to the ground. You can soften your right knee if you want to. Bring your right hand to heart center. Option one, stay. Option two, bring your left hand to heart center. Now, stay over here one breath as you inhale. Exhale, pull the left knee into the chest. Rise up to stand, bringing along your left knee up to your chest. Take one deep breath as you inhale. As you exhale, pull the left knee up over to the side, flex the left foot. Option one, stay. Option two, do this for a while. Straight the left knee for a while. Three, two, one. We'll all return to this. Bring the left heel over to your right thigh. Sink into your figure four. Squat a little bit deeper. Enjoy it because all of us have our own favorite posture over here, but I'm not going to let you go into your favorite posture just yet. In the next inhale, can you inhale? Exhale, sit a little bit deeper. Good. Now, everyone, bring your right hand over to your hip. Bring your left elbow onto the inside of your left foot. Good. This time around, I want you to use the left elbow, push against the left foot, twist a little bit more. Find your own twist. Good. If you want to, stay. If not, reach your right hand up to the ceiling. If not, bring your palms to heart center. Whoa! Sit a little bit deeper. I know, hanging there. Deeper your twist first because I want you to get used to this twist. For three, two, one. Bring your hands to heart center, straighten up. Bring your left toes all the way inside, the right inner thigh. You can pull out if you want to, along with you. Hanging there, I know. We're going to translate over to the open half move very soon. So, hang in there, check it out while I catch my breath. Soft the right knee. Now, while you're leaning forward, pushing your bum back. Good. This time, imagine you have a dog peeing over here. Can you now unlock your left foot, pulling your left knee over to the side? Good. With your hips nice and open, reach your right hand down. Slowly straighten the left foot towards the back of the mat. Squeezing your bum cheeks. Stay. Half moon. Maybe reach the left hand up to the ceiling. One breath. Inhale. Bend the right knee. Touch down. For a two. Hands to heart center. Sit back. Skandasana. Skandasana pose over here. You can use the left elbow. Press onto the inside of the left thigh. And press the left hand up. Right hand reaches up. Sit there with me. Maybe bend your right hand behind. Making sure your palms are facing behind you. And find your left inner thigh, over your shoulder. Maybe rotate your left shoulder by bringing the thumbs down to the floor. Bend the elbow, find the other inner thigh or find the other hand over here, sit. If you're choosing a sit, this is how you're going to end up in. The left knee pulls out over to the side. If you are, don't like to sit and you want to fly, walk your right toes all the way inside. Let go coming up. Rest foot onto your right toes. Slowly rise right on the stand, putting on your flexible. ball. Maybe aim your flexible back. Have fun. And when you're done having fun, bring your flexible ball down. We'll join the rest of us in Skandasana. Everybody, release hands down to the ground. Now, we're going to turn towards the back of the mat. Both hands are inside the left foot. Good. If you're both hands inside the left foot, I'm going to show you the side view over here so all of us can see. Great. Option one, stay. Everybody, right toes down to the ground. Option two, hop the left knee into the left shoulder. Reach forward, lean forward on the left shoulder. Bend the elbow, lift the left foot up. This is your almost like a hippie kick. Option three, stick the left arm to the side. Option four, lean forward and slide the right toes. If you can two, when you're ready, hop back through. Go to the your side and right over there. <sighs> Okay, you don't your rest of me. I'm gonna go to the back of that and flow through everything. So, the full option is flowing through, lean forward, hop it back. Down dog at the back of the mat. Down dog at the back of the mat, take one breath as you inhale. I won't make you move your computer, so walk your hands towards where your feet are. Why your feet to the width of the mat, point your toes 45 degrees out. Sink, Skandasana pose over here. It's really weird, you know, how my left foot can move along with me. So this is Skandasana pose here. Okay? You're not in front of the back, but you're facing towards the, away from the laptop. So I'm going to just bring all of us back to um, the center. So rotate, duck point away, 
true until you have faced where your laptop was again, I guess. We are all faced with the front of the memory originally worked. I can't do this in a home setting because we, I can't walk around the studio, so you can only face one quick center, right? So this is the construction that we have to come up with that one. Okay. Hands to heart center option one. Option two, hands down. Knees outside your triceps. Lift the thumb up, squeeze it in, lean forward, lift the toes up. If you want, squeeze one toes up. If you want to squeeze those two toes up, if you want to straighten out your elbows, your choice. We are all meet back in down dog, whatever you get there. So flow through down dog, whatever that you want to. Your own choice. Down face up is when normalcy happens. <sighs> Catch your breath. Yeah, we'll see you soon, though. Enjoy the stretch over here. Slow down your breath. You've got, you've got about two breaths over here. Enjoy the stretch. There we go. And next inhale, lift the left foot up to the ceiling, straight and strong. Exhale to touch your left knee across your right elbow. Stay. Spin down onto the inside of your right foot. Lift the left hand up into your side plank. Good. Maybe to twist your body onto your left knee. Point to the ceiling for three, two, top one. And one, everyone, three day lock. Take one back over here to inhale. Exhale, start with left foot fall between your hands. Right straight up into your Whoa, press the lunge. Press the lunge, falls over here. What you're trying to do is keep hips square to the front. Is your hips up? Not like that. It's like that. Okay? Hands to heart center, sit a little deeper. To deepen your twist, I just want you to twist from the waist, noticing that this right hip bone is going to move forward and twist over to the left. And with your right hip bone pulling forward, reach your left hand back. Reach your right hand forward, sit down a little bit deeper. Pull your shoulders back. Good. Catch your breath. Reach your right hand forward. Lean down. Left hand stays up or go to hip your choice. You're going to lean forward. Making your twist and reach that right foot off. Staying over here. Inhale. Exhale, look down to the floor. Bring your left hand over to your heart center. Option one. Option two, bring your right hand over to your heart center. If you're able to balance. Good. Soft the left knee. Bring your right knee in with the chest, rise up to stand. Whoa. As you're right stand over here, and take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, pull your right knee out over to the side, squeeze both arm cheeks along. Maybe stay or stick your right foot out over to the side for three, two, one, breathe back. Place the right heel over the left thigh, sink your bum back, figure four squat. No need to ever ask your fire out balance yet, because we're doing so. Take one deep breath as you inhale. Exhale, everyone. Bring your left hand over to the hip. Use your right elbow. Whoa. Press onto the inside of your right foot. And use it to press against it to deepen your twist. Maybe reach your left hand up. Maybe bring your palms to heart center. And deepen your twist. Your bum might squeeze. Your bum might swing for three, two, one. Come in the center. Straighten knees still over there. Whew. Get ready for half moon, open up your hips, pulling out your right knee along with you. Soft the left knee, push your bum back like a dog pee here. Reach your left hand down to the ground, straighten your right leg towards the back of the room. Maybe half moon with your hands up for three, two, one. Soft the left knee, touch all the way down to the ground, warrior two, but immediately hands to heart center, sink down into Skandasana. Skandasana pose, right hand inside your right thigh, push it over to the side, left hand goes up. Otherwise, bend the left hand, left arm away from you. When you bring it towards the back, find your right inner thigh. Maybe bend your right hand, your right arm points down, and bend the elbows behind, and find the other hand. Open up the left shoulder, open up if you want to. For those Ichi backside one, the flamingo is flying. Let's see. Challenge yourself by pushing the flamingo back. If you want to, fly finish already. We'll join all the rest in Skandasana. I'll give you about two hours to get there. Woo! Good. 
Good. Now everybody, release your hands down to your ground, rotate towards the back. Both hands inside your right foot. We all have to do this around. We have both hands inside our right foot. Chaturanga hands over here. Now, straighten out your hands. Shoot your shoulders forward. You need to use the left to push your shoulders forward. And Chaturanga. Hug your right knee in. Lift your right knee off the ground. Or stretch your right knee over to the side. Or hover. Squeeze your left bum cheek. When you're ready, flow through your vinyasa. That was always very good to me at the back of that. Walk your hands towards the back of the mat again. You're now facing up. What are your feet? 45 degrees out. Sink. But that's in the pose. So, in order to rotate and double your way through, if you turn one circle to the right earlier on, I want you now to turn over to the left and start your own double, double your way through again. Okay? This time around, stay in Malasana, push your elbows out to the side, lift your hips up to the same height as your knees. Reach your hands forward, stay. Enjoy the hip flexor strength over here. Keep reaching your hands forward, heel toe, heel toe your way until you have like sort of like a chair pose variation. Now, bring your hands down. Knees are now behind your triceps. Option one. Crow pose. Place your knees over the just above the elbows. Bend your elbows, lean forward so you're balancing onto your toes and your fingers. Look forward, never look down. Option one, one foot squeeze. Your heel must speak up to your bum. That's you lose all the strength. If you have a balance, you're gonna sting. If you're working on crane, keep squeezing your heels up to your bum. Straighten your elbows if you're able to. We will flow back. Your choice. Ah, I can't do it. Chop pose is where you're gonna be. Woo! You can choose to rest in child's pose, you can choose to rest in your upright seated posture. Okay. Collect your hands either next to your heels in your child's pose. Or if you're sitting upright, you can collect your hands. Along your thighs. Okay. Your next pose for this is a baby grasshopper. Then we will visit grasshopper. Okay. It's couple of unbalanced play for today, involving a lot of terrible twists. I know, <laughs> not fun. <sighs> but you notice that when you're doing this, I first start up by open up hips. Therefore, I move in the twist to close the hips. Because it is easier to understand the, the ranges of your hips first before you open, close, open, close with the thighs, rotate that muscles. Alright? Collect your breath over here. Take one deep breath. Inhale. Open your mouth, side out. And those in your child's pose, bring yourself up to a uh, sit up position over here. Everyone, you can please open your eyes, tuck your toes in, and just sit back onto your heels, riding your knees to keep them up at the same time. Good. Hands along your heels. Roll that shoulders back. Quick counter stretch over here. In the next inhale, squeeze the bum. Can you lift your hands forward and back as you pull the shoulders back? It's not an extreme power pose over here. It's, it's not extreme camel pose. It's just to open up the flexors. Exhale, belly button sucks in. All the way down. If it's too much for you, hands along your hips. Roll that shoulders back. Inhale, push your hips forward. Exhale, sit it down. Good. Take one deep breath over here as you inhale. Exhale, curl your hands forward. Send your bum up, downwards, facing up. Now, face up over here. The next inhale, lift the left foot off the ground, reaching all the way up. Exhale, just have left foot fall between your hands. Good. Stay still singing your lunch pose over here. This time around, everyone, I want you to point your left toes out to the left side and spin down onto the outside of your right foot. So all toes are pointing over to where you're lifting up at the same time. Hands onto the ground below your shoulders and lift up, lift out the inside of your left foot. Shui, I know you're going to cry when this must go over to the same problem. <laughs> and then start to slowly aim your hips down to the ground. 
If this is too much for you, walk your right hand forward a little bit more to give us our more leeway. And try to sink this down to the ground a little bit more. You want to get used to this stretch along the right left bunchy muscles. So your right hand is way in front of the toe the front of the neck so you don't hurt your wrist at the same time. Very good. Allow yourself to sink a little bit more. A three, two, one to pause at your lowest height over here. If you're able to sink the hips down to the ground, great. But keep pushing away from your right shoulder is also a three. Inhale, exhale, left hand assist, still keeping the same uh, shape. Very slowly, I want you to walk your right hand forward to the same line as your left foot. See it? Bend the right knee, step the right foot slightly inside, right knee is down to the ground. Good. Now, right hand point forward, left foot down, single hips down to the ground. Does this work? Good. Make sure your right hand is in the right shoulder. Woo! Use your left hand, grab the outer edge of your right foot. You can keep your right knee bent for now. Now, you're going to use the core a little bit. You're going to press into this foot and your right hand. So both hands and foot are in line. Take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, lift your bum up. Whoa! Yeah! Okay, you're going to go there. Find this foot. Kick it out over to the side. As you balance down to the ground. If you're able to, flex your left foot against it and reach your right hand, left hand over to the side. So, ow, this is my weaker side, I choose the devil over here. Okay, start over again. You're gonna find your left foot crossing down. You can even do this sitting upright. Okay, left foot outside right knee bent. Okay, if you're very really stiff like me, you can lift your bum up first. Right hand below your shoulder. Same line as your left. You can use the back hand to grab any part of your foot. You can lift your hips up even higher and grab. Keep leaning forward and you slowly straighten out the foot out over to the side. You're hanging on really tight. Lean forward. This is your baby grasshopper. Keep reaching. If you're able to, you can even balance off your only foot as you reach your right hand forward. This is a balance we want to go for. Your left foot must fire to the side. And stay. Check it out. I'm tired then. I'm going to take a sip of water first. Oh my god. I'm going to do this on the right side before I switch on the gallery view so all of us get a chance to try it out first before we try out scare time. Okay? So let's go back to the downward facing dog from here. Downward facing dog so to bring your feet close together, touch your legs in the center, right up to the seat. Exhale, start right before between your hands. This time around, press down onto the inside of your no, Better swing onto your left hand, align your point your right toes up and spin down to the outer edge of the left foot. Walk your left hand slightly forward in front of your shoulder and start to let your hips drop a little bit more. So watch how your wrist is spinning out because you don't want to dump too much weight into your wrist. You're just trying to find the optimal length for your body to be in. So this is usually where all of us are going to be. Okay. Bounce up and down. For three, two. Sing into your deepest poses. For me, I can sit all the way down if I'm able to. Keeping your body upright. This is when you're going to slowly bend your left knee. So you can bring it along with you. Right hand, left hand below left shoulder. You're going to lean forward and grab this outer edge of your foot. As you lean forward, you're going to kick it over to the side. You're going to lift off. So whatever it takes to get there, you can either start from all the way bottom and you're going to lift off like that. Or you can start standing up with your knee bent slightly to give yourself the hip height first. Then we're going to slowly ouch, lift off. Once you're done, stand up, shake it up oh, at the same time. So when you're standing and shake it up, 
You're gonna feel maybe there's a slight difference in your hip flexors. So I'm gonna revisit another twist, which is basically warming up towards our grasshopper twist. Okay? Come stand on top of the mat, your feet are going to be fist width apart. So fist meaning fist in between the knees, fist in between your feet. And see the time. Why I like to do this is because I want to imagine my feet are grounded down, but my feet are trying to move outwards. So you realize that you use your hands to move the bum of your thighs, they're all really nice and hard. Okay? So, hands to heart center, sit into your chair pose with your feet tearing the mat apart, and stay. I'm going to deepen your twist over here, so stay as you inhale. As you exhale, I want you to twist over, touch your left elbow outside your right knee, and stay. Watch your left knee, pull the left knee back so it's the same line as your right, and stay over here. Now, we're going to use our elbows to help. With your left elbow outside your right knee, I want you to push the right knee against the left elbow, and lift your right hand up to the ceiling. Pull the left knee back, don't let it move forward, and you stay and sink with the deeper. Now, bring your both hands towards the prayer pose. As you press into your right hand, you need to press your right hand down hard to lift your chest up to the ceiling. So watch the screen again. The difference you need to feel, watch the screen, yeah. As you bring this hand down, your this top hand is in, in charge. Watch how my chest is moving. As I press my right hand down, my chest goes up. This deepens this twist here. Okay? Once you got it, let's just try it on the right side. Left elbow hooks onto your right knee, right knee pushes out to the side. Press your right hand down as you lift the chest up. Keep pulling your left knee back for three, two, one. Come in the center, straight knee, shake it up. Take one deep breath to inhale, exhale, sit again. Inhale, straighten body, exhale, right elbow, twist. Use your left side, push it against your right elbow. Left hand goes up first. Understand the twist first as you pull that right knee back. Inhale. Exhale, left hand presses down. Lift the chest up as you use the left hand, drag it forward a little bit more. Three, two, one. Come in the center, straighten up. So, this warms us up for our deeper twist with a figure of four shape. We can view at the same time. Okay, find your figure of four by pressing your left heel on top of the right thigh. We're going to revisit the twist this time around with both hands to heart center. And let's sit back and stay. You're going to use your hand to help you, yeah. Left elbow aims onto the out bottom of your left foot. As you aim your hand onto the bottom of the left foot, you're going to press your hands and lift your chest up as much as possible. Your left foot must press back with equally up pressure over here. Once you've got this, you're going to slowly keep the elbow against the foot and bring both hands down to the floor. Do not sing your hips. Hold both hands down to the floor. Keep pushing your right knee into your left ankle and lean forward. This is where you want to be. This is the final pose that most of us will be with your right knee pressing into your left ankle. You want to get used to this strength first. So I'm training up strength over here. I'm not training for the pose, I'm training up strength. So as you press, bottom right knee presses into left ankle. Bottom left foot presses into right, uh, into left triceps. When you bring it down, hands down, the, sh the strength comes from elbow against this foot, knee against your left ankle, and stay. If you can, you're going to balance and push this knee into it and bring the right foot off. But that one is only when you have all the strength, all the points are fixed in. Shake it up. All right. Then we're going to switch on to the other side of the foot. Maybe this side will be better for you. Okay. So again, I'm standing up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up first. This time around, your left foot is standing up. This is a standing foot. I always refer to your left foot as a standing foot because you need those standing toes, standing knees, standing thighs, okay? So, bring your right ankle on top of your left. Flush your elbow to the side first, and I'm going to sit. Different people may feel the different tightness. You're going to use your hands to help as long as your right hand can hook, right elbow can hook onto the inside of your right thigh. Then you're going to press your palms to heart center to deepen that twist first. It's a tough one because you need to balance your, your energy all over the place here. Try to keep 
basically back into the same height, and as you just bend that standing left knee and draw the palms down to the ground. This is when you need to press into your standing toes, press your standing thigh into your right foot as you step. The step comes, then you lean. Notice my foot is not off yet, but this entire twist is a hard one that you want to have and get used to it over here. Come, stand, come sitting into your melasma squat over here. Use the elbows to open up at the same time. Letting, lifting your chest out if you want to. Some of us can get butt cramps at the same time, so just hang in there. Good. Rock back and forth if you want to, just balancing the weight onto your toes and the heels a lot more. And very slowly, we're just going to plug our bum down to the ground. 90, 90 degrees, so both your right foot is about in front of you and you'll send your left knee back. If you look at the screen, my both knees are 90, 90 degrees back. So, your right shin bones is parallel, horizontal to the front of the mat. With your right shin bones and your right thigh, it's a 90 degree back. If you look at your pelvic area region, it's also a 90 degree. And if you look at your left thigh and your left calf, it's also a 90 degree. Okay? So, both hands framing your shoulders, you're going to face the same direction at where your right shin bones are, parallel and horizontal to the front of the mat. Flex both toes, which means both toes are flexed in, okay? Inhale, chest up. I want you to press the right heel ankle down into your ground. As you exhale, lean forward, still pressing your right ankle down into the ground. This is a more uh, nicer stretch than pigeon pose because I'm trying to avoid for some of us, okay? Inhale, chest up. If you're able to, walk your fingers forward and lean down. What you want to try to do is to press into your right bum a lot more. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, lean down. If you're able to crawl your fingers forward, but always keep your chest lifting slightly. Inhale, crawl yourself back. Now, you're going to bring your hands behind you, dig your heels down to the ground, lift your knees up. Rotate to the back. Don't worry, we'll stay here. Inhale, lift the knees up. Rotate to the front. One more time. Knees up. To the back. Your heels are going to move. Knees up. To the front. Now, your right shin bones are still horizontal. I want you to use the left hand. Pull the left knee up. And step your left and heel on top of your right thigh. So you can double pigeon over here instead. Make sure your shin bones are horizontal to the front of the mat. Your knee should be sliding off, but both toes are still flexed. Hanging on to your left knee and your right knee with both hands. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, lean over. Naturally, your left bum cheek will try to flex a little bit more right here and out. You always want to look up as you try to pull the chest forward by grabbing onto your knees. Good. Inhale. Exhale, just bend your elbows. What you're trying to do is to flatten your chest over your shin bones. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, sink the deeper. Inhale, come back up. Now this time around, left shin bones down, right knee back. Okay. Same thing as usual, same 90, 90 degree. Hands, fingers, below your shoulders. Inhale, chest up. Flex your both toes. Dig the left heel down to ground. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, chest up. If you're able to walk your fingers forward, walk it forward. Exhale, lean forward. Never look down, never hunch down. Just always keep looking at the front around you. Inhale, chest up. Last one. If you're able to walk your fingers forward, if you're able to go ahead and do so, what you're trying to do is to crawl your chest over your shin bone muscles here. You should take more stretch on the lower bunch. Inhale, come out of center. Again, rotation. Hands behind your back. Take the heels back to the ground. Windshield wiper your knees to the back. Windshield to the front. One more round. Up to the back. To the front. Now this time, rest the ball. Just use the right hand. Bring the right heel across and stack it above that left thigh. Double pigeon again. Double pigeon is about always maintaining, maintaining a nice upper back using both hands to grab your knees. Making sure your shin bones are horizontal like the front of the mat. Look forward, inhale, chest up, pulling the shoulders back. 
Exhale, pull the chest over as you see the stretch in the right knee muscle stretch. Inhale, keep pulling your chest up. Exhale, maybe keep pulling your elbows back. Inhale, chest up. Last one, exhale, keep pulling forward. Find a stretch in the, in the right muscles. Inhale, chest up, very slowly release the feet forward, shake it out over here. All right, so now bend the left knee. I want you to straighten out your right knee and press the left foot inside your right inner thigh. Your left knee is going to point to the left, your right foot is going to point to the right. All right, this works good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cross right hand over your left knee. Inhale, lift the left hand. You're going to bend and find your foot with your left hand. You don't have to grab. I can't grab at all. But if this works for you, I want you to shine the left armpit up to the ceiling. And as you just keep pulling against the left knee, you're pushing the left knee away from your right hand. But you're using your right hand to pull the left knee up. You should feel a stretch along the left entire left side as long as you try to shine your left arm up the ceiling and stretch the left elbow a little bit more. Yes. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, slowly round down, chest down to the floor, rotate forward, press yourself up. Second stretch, maintaining this, uh, maintain this foot. I want you to reach your right elbow inside your right thigh. If you're able to, you can grab the inside of your right foot. If this, if this works for you, great. Otherwise, just use your right elbow inside your right thigh and aim the left hand up. One more time. If not, right elbow inside your right thigh, grab the inside of your right foot and aim it over the grip on the edge. So many things. One deep breath, inhale. Again, shine your left arm down the ceiling. Exhale, freeze. Woo! The other side. From left foot sticks up. Right foot presses onto the inside. Okay. Inhale, arms up. Crossing over. Left hand grabs right knee. Your right knee pushes away, your left hand grabs up. And inhale, look up at the ceiling. Right hand just try to fly your left foot. You don't have to fly it unless you're super duper flexible. But I want you to feel the stretch along your back of your right back muscles as you shine your right arm bit up to the ceiling. One more breath. Stay to exhale, bending a little bit more. Release the left hand, lower your chest down. Rise up. <sighs> Same thing, your option, left elbow inside left thigh, shine your right hand up, or left elbow, left hand inside left foot. Shine the right hand up and aim to grab if you're able to. So, yes, yeah, so you have to release. Why are your feet up in a uh, right legged pose? Good. Now, your both toes are going to point up. Peel your bum cheeks back. Hands reaching forward to the ground. Your over your chest is always up as you inhale. Exhale, crawl your fingers forward as you try to push your feet out towards the side. It's an angry stretch over here. Keep lifting. Keep sticking your feet out over to the side a little bit more. So the strength comes in trying to stick your feet out over to the side as you lean forward. Okay? You should feel your feet moving outwards about one millimeter to one cm. Use your breath, use the exhalation to go a little bit deeper. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, go for a little bit more. Keep sticking your feet outwards to the side a little bit more. Slowly curl yourself back up. For the bend both knees, have your feet wider and hip in the part. I want you to close your knees together. Your outer edge of your feet are going to rise up. Hands behind you, keep pushing your shoulders up. I want you to slowly walk your feet out towards the side of the mat as you keep your knees closed, just for the internal rotation of your hand. One more breath. 
Okay, so you just walk your feet in as you are on your knees. So, um, for those who are not familiar with my um, supine stretch on the ground, I just want you to watch what I'm doing first so you can understand what the shape is. So, we're going to go, later on, we're going to come up to our belly button. I'm going to get you to stick the left knee over to the side like the frog legs over here. You're going to lift your chest off, you're going to slide the opposite shoulder and lean into it. What's going to happen is when you reach your hands, I'm going to drop our hands behind our back. Notice, with your knees still pressing down onto your ground, this is already your twisted waist. You can deepen it by bending the bottom knee and grabbing the outer edge, not inside, yeah, outer edge of the foot. Once you kick this foot into this hand, it opens up the shoulder and down to the ground. As long as this knee is still sticking down to the ground, it can slide in, but it cannot lift off. So you don't undo the twist over here as you look up at the ceiling. Okay? Come lying down to your belly button. So most of the time, you cannot really see the, the screen already, so just listen carefully so you understand uh, where it comes up. Bring your left knee over to the side, frog, frog leg style, okay? Lift your chest off, supporting yourself with your forearms, and you're going to slide the right elbow over to the left. You're going to lean to your right shoulder already, good. Now, letting your cheek rest onto the ground, lift the left hand up to the ceiling. You're going to gaze out the ceiling and you're going to drop the left hand towards behind your back. So your right, left knee is sitting down to the floor already. Yeah. Bend the bottom right knee. Find the outer edge of the bottom foot with your left hand. As you kick into it, you're going to open up the left shoulder. Your right knee will move, but don't let it lift up the ground. And just enjoy supine stretch over here. If you want to deepen the stretch, you can use your right hand to grab your right knee and kick down to the ground a little bit more. And to kick the left foot further into your hands. You're going to very slowly undo, but not move everything all back in center yet, right? Slowly release the bottom foot, straighten your bottom foot. Your left hand still stays in this twist. Then you want to very slowly deepen your, this current twist by grabbing on to your right outer thigh with your right hand. And stay. For those who are able to, you can reach your right hand over to the right side of your, uh, no, outside of your left foot and kick it up over to the side. So both legs are straight, but your left knee is, instead of bent, is straightening out right now. I just added this, sorry. So you unbend the left knee, you're going to bring yourself back down onto your belly button, roll it back. Sphinx pose first, both elbows below your shoulders, hands down to your ground. Roll your shoulders back and lift the chest up. You want to imagine dragging your elbows towards the back of the mat instead of just dumping down. So you bend the right knee up to the side. Press into your hand and reach your left elbow over to the right side. You're going to do the stretch on the other side. Reach the right hand up to the ceiling. Allow yourself to find your right hand to your bottom foot as you bend the bottom knee. Kick the bottom foot into the hand over the shoulders. Enjoy the twist over here. You can choose to take the same option as you did so earlier. If you want to use the left hand, grab onto the outer edge of your right knee. Very slowly release your right hand, release your bottom leg, straight out your bottom leg first. Keep your right hand still dangling there. Left hand finds the outer edge of your right knee or the outer edge of the right foot. If you're able to, straighten the right knee and kick your right foot out over to the side. Now, re-bend the right knee, roll onto your back. <sighs>
As you roll onto your back, both knees are bent, feet down to the ground. We are not going to a bridge, but it's a setup for a bridge. By pressing your heels down to the ground, I want you to press the lower back down into the ground. So you feel how it feels like to have your entire lower back pressing down to the ground to neutralize your back. You have eliminated the arch in your lower back by pressing with some pressure from the heels down, back, lower back down to the ground. Hug your both knees into the upside of your ribcage. Being a little bit more mindful by pressing your lower back to the ground a little bit more. How you do that is by pushing your shin bones into your hands. So your lower back glues down into the ground. For those who are super flexible, you can go into heavy baby. For those who are not, it is enough to hug your both knees in close towards your armpits as you push your knees back into your hands or your feet into your hands to glue your lower back down to the ground. I'm neutralizing your back at the same time. Spreading two deep breaths over here as you inhale to push your lower back down to the ground. As you exhale, you can try to pull your knees closer to the ground. As you inhale, you're pushing your lower back to the ground. As you exhale, you're drawing your knees down lower to the ground. Very right, slowly, close your knees in towards the center of your chest. Tuck your chin in towards the knees as you lift your forehead towards the knees. Allow yourself a slight back massage as you rock side to side over here. And then you slowly start to rock up and down, massaging your back, entire back. Rock yourself up into a certain position and facing towards where we started from. I am pretty much done. 